two weeks we have been using the workshop as a, just a place to throw stuff at. Like we have a lot of tools open for all the things that uh, we were doing that um, we didn't record and then Eugenia has completely collapsed the workshop with all the plans. I need to organize everything first and once everything is organized I will continue working. Aspen has found his favorite spot. This is a beautiful piece of leather that we have left over from our old business. We used to make handbags and shoes. We're planning to use it in the future, maybe to make something for you guys. This is how you can test these three different panels are aligned. You can see that it's touching there, it's touching there, and it's touching there. Then we know that this whole thing is in one plane. We have been testing that box because we have like four of them and um, we want to make sure that everything fits like this is the stuff that we used to have in the tool shed I don't even know what it is I think stuff for Eugenia to make candles and things like that I think yes the counter will be at this height laundry machine underneath the sink another cabinet and another cabinet and all of them are gonna share a bottom door so the idea is to divide this space in two that way we can have six boxes of that size and i'm wondering how to make this 
intermediate shelf is strong enough to hold all the weight. One of our neighbors has a lot of bees and he makes his own honey. And this is, these are pieces of the structures that they use to, to collect the honey. Something broke, which I'm not so sure what. And he asked me if I could help out replacing this piece. Fix these two guys. And that's what I'm doing now. I was about to leave, but I remember that I had this here. I'm gonna do it in a minute and give it to him. Yesterday we went to buy the counter for this cabinet and we had the idea of buying the same one that we bought for the cabin. But unfortunately the prices have gone really high and we paid close to 60 euros and yesterday they wanted like 94. So we decided to buy something different. We ended up buying this piece of untreated pine wood, 22 millimeters, so roughly an inch. This was 22 euros. Eugenia and I agreed that um, more than enough. And today, I think I'm gonna try to install it. These wooden pieces are not straight. I was about to install that one and I realized that I'm a bit like this. Here in the back I'm putting this as a template. It is not really this high, but it's gonna be like a step like this. I would like to ask Eugenia, but it's pouring rain right now, so I don't think she's gonna come out. Oh, it's big, eh? So I'm saying, should we like center it? I think it's going to look better. Or like put a little bit more here like we did in the cabin and have more space. In the center. To hand wash clothing and I think the bed is more than enough, no? <laughs> <laughs> this is always going to look better. Of course. What's the gonna happen? Nothing.
the camera ran out of memory like an hour ago. I was able to build this. That's a, like a shelf unit because you know it's super deep and once you get deeper than 70 or so, like to fit something, then it makes no sense to make it wider than that because you cannot actually reach. So we decided to make like a shelf that it can be raised a little bit and we can use to put, you know, pottery, dishes, decor, things like that. Separate the space of the counter and it makes like, you know, like a proper space to put something that you can either look pretty to, de to decorate the space or to actually use. And then on top of that shelf on the right, we're gonna put three outlets. I was able to fill all the holes with putty. So I'm gonna sand everything and then we will clean the whole workshop, remove all the dust and apply oil. I apply the first coat of the oil. It is a specific oil for countertops. It's supposed to be very good quality and it's supposed to seal the wood like 100% after I think three coats. I need to wait like eight hours or so to apply the second and eight hours to apply the, the third. But it's looking it's looking quite good. I mean, it's gonna be a good, a good contrast to the color that we're gonna be painting the cabinet with. I don't know if you can guess what color is going to be, but um. If you have a good guess, leave it in the comments. Also, you might be wondering what's going on with Aspen. Aspen, come here, Kevin. Aspen people is wondering what's going on with you, man. What's wrong with you? Why do you have this, this helmet again, man? Did, did you go to the space again? Man? Did Elon Musk call you again? I thought you were done with that shit, man. neighbor came to thank us for the help with his bee box. This is the honeycomb directly from the hive. It's full of honey inside. You cut a small piece, put it in your mouth and chew it. And it's delicious. I'm gonna go give it to Irenia. And it works!
<laughs> Busted. <laughs> I was able to finish yesterday at night the shelves that go on the left, just missing one that will go above the washing machine. So I want to wait for the laundry machine to, to come and make sure that we put it in the right spot. Also yesterday I was able to connect these pieces because we are using leftovers for these shelves. We have three different pieces and then we connect it on the bottom. It is very solid, you barely see it from once it's installed. We save some money. If not, we would have needed to buy a few more sheets of OSB. That way we reuse the, the material that we have and it doesn't go to waste. I'm trying to save up for a vacuum. I already know which one I'm gonna buy. I'm spending way too much time cleaning this OSB or, or even plywood because plywood also has glue. It's not very good for you when you breathe it. I want to start taking care of that because you know we're gonna build a lot of cabinets in the near future and the earlier we get the vacuum the less chances to breathe bad things. Just letting you guys know that we're saving up for a vacuum. If any of you want to chime in I would appreciate it. It's gonna become a mess in like five seconds. To all of you that donate for this tool, and, uh, your name will be in the video. So uh, that's a, a way from us to, to say thank you uh, to, to everybody that's helping us to, to achieve this dream. Measure twice and cut once. I'm cutting the edge just to have a clean, nice looking edge. We made potatoes 
with uh, broad beans from the garden with squid. It's like a typical Spanish slash Portuguese slash modern house cabin recipe. I made a mistake with the doors but I'm too hungry to think about it now. Draw some lines. Hello, hello! Aspen, Aspen, what's happening with your head, man? <laughs> Are you a lamp today? <laughs> Lolita's giving me all. Lolita, give me more.
I'm happy with this color, but uh, we want to, you know, we want to go a little bit further and we're gonna be painting it. So yeah, leave your guess. What do you think is gonna be? White? Brown? Bright yellow? <laughs> Black? Great. Golden. <laughs> <laughs>